Hey everyone. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays and top of the season to you. And this is my last Saturday before Christmas. I do this every year. I joke about it being like my queen, the queen's message, but I can't joke about the queen because the queen has now moved on. It's the king. Will the king be doing a message on Christmas Day? I think he will. King Charles, yes. <laughs> um, Great, uh, just just uh, checking in with you, you know, as I always do just before Christmas. I hope everyone's uh, enjoying the Christmas season. And, um, you know, if you're having a hard time this Christmas season, I feel for you, because everybody is. So, if you think anyone's doing well, nobody's doing well. So, have uh, do what we can. Do what we can, right? That's what we have to do. Do what we can and get through it all and uh, have a great time and enjoy family. Um, and that's what we plan on doing. Uh, thanks to everybody this year, 2022. Um, it's been a transitional year for us getting back to normal, normal and um, having live concerts, live events, playing live music. I'm sure every live musician out there is loving the fact that we can actually get out there and play. Uh, we just did our, our, um, our year end Christmas concert, uh, holiday concert, whatever you want to call it. But we, um, we never really focus on Christmas music. We kind of do everything, we do absolutely everything. We had Rush, Metallica, you know, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, lots of Foo Fighter tributes and that kind of thing at our show. But um, just a couple things for the year. I just want to make sure that everyone knows my name is actually Darren. My name is actually Darren. It's not darts. Um, what what is darts? Uh, if you look at my Facebook, it says Darts D'Souza. No one calls me darts except people on Facebook. Um, where did darts come from? Years and years ago, when I had a face, uh, my first Facebook account, uh, I thought, hey, you know something? There's not a lot. There's some people I don't want to find for them to find me. So I'll just go D A R R Dar and D S, which is the beginning of my last name, darts. And then for some reason, when I when I started an Instagram account it took that and plus a couple other names if you look at my Instagram it's it's that weird name and it starts with darts so anyhow I don't know how the internet works and how Facebook and Instagram interact but that's how it became about so anyways that's the name of my Facebook and my Instagram page but you can call me Darren or anything else insert bad joke there Anyhow, uh, and just a big thank you, switching gears, big thank yous to all the teachers that worked hard on our concerts and our Rogers special that will be airing tomorrow on December 18th. And then we'll be sending you some links for, it'll probably be online because I know not everybody has Rogers and um, some great performances there. Anyhow, uh, just like to say, uh, you know, for the, in the world of guitar... <laughs> I'll be doing lots more stuff in the new year. Hopefully you guys can start following me on my Facebook, uh, my YouTube, uh, TikTok, and Instagram. I'll be just uploading tons of videos for intermediate, uh, from, uh, from from like the first day you start guitar, I'll have, it, I'll have stuff, little tips for that, all the way to the advanced stuff. So uh, if you guys wanna tune in, I find you can learn from every level of guitar. If you're like the most, if you've been playing for 40 years, 40 plus years like I have, you still learn from beginners or you still learn from beginner lessons, which is interesting. So there's always something to learn about guitar. It's such a multifaceted instrument. Uh, it's, there's every, it's in every style of music, which is something you uh, flugelhorn players can't say. And uh, basically it's, um, it's really just the most fun you can have on six strings. So there'll be a lot more videos, uh, a lot more instructional stuff next year. Um, might see some interaction, interactive stuff. Thank you to everybody who watches my Sunday morning show. There's lots of you who watch, lots of you don't like it. Uh, no, I'm not saying don't like it, but don't click the like, you know, thing. 
But um, it's funny because every once in a while I come up with, I meet meet up with someone and they say, hey, yeah, that show yeah on Def Leppard the other day, that was pretty nice. I had a, you know, I had strangers come up to me in the grocery store. Yeah, I'm coming in. Um, you know, love the show and all that kind of thing. I had, you know, I had my my friend Andy from Facebook who drove 140 kilometers to see Bridge on Fire at Manny's one night, and that was just amazing to see that someone came out to see me play. That's amazing. Amazing. You're amazing, Andy. You are. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Jacob and I are out doing shows. Come out and see us. We have a Festivus show this coming Friday the 23rd in Burlington at the Block, his usual spot. We play there every month, once a month. We're playing there twice this month. We're going to play there. We almost were playing there three times this month because we almost had the New Year's gig, but we're playing the 30th the day before New Year's, which is usually a pretty dead night for clubs, but it's a Friday and everybody works that week. So if you are working that week, some people don't. But um, come out and see Jacob's show. We, uh, Jacob's new album will be coming out on January 28th. We have a special album release party, which will be tickets only coming up. But to reflect on the year, I'm going to reflect a lot on um, 2022 in posts. Uh, just the best of Avalon and my own and my own stuff and my own music that we've uh, you know we cultivate through our entire lives. So anyhow, Merry Christmas, everybody! Happy New Year! Best of luck for 2023. Um, okay, it's not the last Saturday of the year, but it's last Saturday of me teaching here. I, that was some confusion caused some confusion last year. So for my last la my last Saturday message. Happy Christmas to all, Happy New Year to all, Happy Holidays to all, and if you're having a rough time out there mentally dealing with this time of year, because it's a tough time to deal with, um, make sure you talk to someone, and if you have someone who you think is having a hard time with this, you, t you take the initiative and talk to them, because mental health is a very, very serious thing that gets taken for granted, or doesn't get taken for granted, it gets, it gets pushed under the rug for, you know, for when conventional doctors hear about it. They don't take it as seriously. You as an individual should take it seriously. And uh, especially if you have someone, a loved one, or someone close to you friend-wise uh, that is having some struggles with Christmas time, um, it is a tough time for some people. So take the time. Take the time and talk to those people and get them through it. Invite them over for dinner. Invite them out. Invite them to a gig that I'm playing at. How's that? <laughs> Festivus on the 23rd. Come out and air your grievances. <laughs> but you have to put money in the tip jar first. Have a good one. Merry Christmas. See ya. Bye-bye.